Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am super duper excited to be with you all today and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. Today, I share with you all this highly requested fried tilapia recipe for my sweet team members that have been requesting it. It is finally here and I hope you would enjoy it. And if you do, please do not forget to share the video to your friends and family family so that they can enjoy the recipe as well so here i begin by cleaning my tilapia and i'm just cutting off or clipping off the gills the fins the tail anything that i don't want to be enjoying i'm getting rid of so i'm going to do that and then i wash the fish beautifully and then we'll go ahead and season it Continental food, madam. Food, madam. International food captain. Who show you how to make pizza? Jala, bangu and okra soup. Sushi and pastries. All this and more. Sweet ajel. Now that our fish is nicely washed, I'm going to go ahead and season the belly part or <laughs> the gut area because once you cut it, then you have to season it one at a time. And I, mm -mm, I don't want to do that. So I season it with some of my all-purpose seasoning and then I'll also season it with some salt. I have here some sage. and ground anise and i'll do the same with the other fish once i've seasoned the belly part beautifully i'm going to go ahead and begin cutting the fish and i'll be cutting mine into three pieces but you can cut them into however many pieces that you prefer okay this way when i'm ready to season everything i don't have to worry about taking each piece and seasoning the belly part okay i just season the outer part because the inside have been taken care of now once you're done cutting your fish you want to sparingly add some of the seasoning you just added to the belly bearing in mind that fish does not need too much seasoning to taste good you don't want your fish to be salty all right but at the same time you want the seasoning to be able to penetrate into your fish so that every bite will be super delicious so i like to marinate my fish overnight I don't use too much salt but if you do it overnight it takes its time to get into the fish and it tastes super delicious but it is to your taste make it to your taste so I toss and I add the seasoning as needed and then we're going to just leave it out for about four hours to marinate if I was making it the next day then I'll put it in my refrigerator but I'll always bring it out about an hour before frying so that it can come to room temperature once i've ensured that every part of the fish is well seasoned i'll transfer it into a separate bowl and then i'll cover it up and set it aside to marinate as i said if you're marinating this for more than four hours keep it in your refrigerator International food Four hours later, I'm going to go ahead and add some vegetable oil into my pan and allow it heat up. 
Meanwhile, I'll prep my flour for coating the fish. So in a plate, I'll add about three tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of cornstarch. To that, I'll add some of my all-purpose seasoning. You may add any seasoning of your choice. Stir everything together until it is well combined and our coating flour is done. Once our flour mix is ready, I'm just going to go ahead and coat each fish beautifully, all right? So I use one hand to transfer the fish into the flour, but I use the other hand to coat it because if I use the same hand, the flour will become sticky on my other finger because it's wet, all right? You can use a tongue for this process if you prefer. Continental food, madam. Oh, food, madam. International food cutting. Oh. We'll show you how to make pizza, pizza. jala, bangu, and okra soup. You know, baba. Sushi and pastries. All this and more. Sweet oh. ajay. Oh. All right, let's begin frying. And you can see the oil is waving up, meaning it is nice and hot and ready for our fish. So you want to lower the fish into the oil gently so you do not burn yourself. I'll then add in some onions and also fresh rosemary, but this has been in my freezer. That's why it looks like that. This is going to give you an amazing flavor that you will so love. Now to prevent the head of the fish from opening up in the frying process, I like to stick a toothpick into it just like that okay this one will not open up because it wasn't cut all the way through and i'll finish up with the coating process of that meanwhile you want to keep checking on your fish you don't want this to burn we're frying this on medium high heat you don't want to fry this on high because you don't want it to burn and you don't want to fry it on low that way it'll soak in oil and our fish is turning out beautifully now i want it very crispy on the outside so i'll fry it until it is nice and golden brown but you can fry it to your preferred brownness at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get out the onions because I don't want it to burn. I always keep this in my freezer and I use it to make my stews. Do not get rid of it. It is a perfect flavor enhancer because it is nice and sweet, okay? And we'll give our fish a couple of minutes more so that it can brown to our satisfaction. Keeping an eye on it to ensure that it doesn't burn finally our fish have fried to my satisfaction nice and golden brown absolutely beautiful so i'll get it out onto a paper towel lined plate to get rid of any excess oil but i will not leave it there because leaving it there will cause the fish to sweat and the outside will no longer be crunchy the way we want it so we'll transfer it onto a rack but before then I will repeat the frying process until everything is nicely fried up. As I said, transfer it onto a rack so that air can just go all around it and there will be no sweating happening here to cause our fish to become soft and soggy. And there you have it absolutely beautiful for your kinky banku gari you name it it goes well with it and to get out the toothpick you just don't want to pull it out it may break the fish apart so you want to kind of gently spin and pull spin and pull until it comes out beautifully and your fish is intact and today i'm enjoying mine with some rice 
a salted pepper sauce and cucumbers it was so filling and we enjoyed it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up it helps our channel a whole lot thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini uchemi suite mahabutu bye y'all